Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow denarian friends to help support our channel. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. Thank you. Download your free trial copy today of the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the dinar community. Created by a denarian, for denarians, to ensure your exchange goes smoothly and for mapping out all your future financial goals and assets, including the Vietnamese dong, Iranian rattle and of course gold and silver my favorites and many more. Pick up your free trial copy now in the description of this video. If you decide you want to unleash the full power of the planner, they use the promo code, the denarian, and get 25% off along with the newly upgraded version 8 mobile application added free for my subscribers for a limited time. A preview of both the mobile application and the desktop planner is made available on the website for your convenience. Go check them both out today and download your trial copy. I assure you, once you see the planner in action, you will know why it is the number one planner in Dinarland. I also recommend that you register as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program designed to save gold in your choice from a gram up to any amount you would like. They mount each fully certified gram of gold on a credit card style placard for easy storage and send it directly to your door via FedEx. It makes saving physical gold easy and affordable for everyone. It is free to register and get yourself all set up for post-exchange gold purchasing. By getting yourself registered today it will be one less thing you will have to worry about doing later. Both the links to the currency exchange planner as well as the carrot bar gold savings program are in the description box below. Always remember, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful. First article of interest for today. The budget is politically and financially powerless, and the House of Representatives is looking for a legal loophole to pass. Parliamentary efforts are continuing to reach a legal loophole regarding the approval of the current year's budget amid the political bloc's inability to find an agreed-upon person to head the next government. A member of the House of Representatives, Hassan Fadam, said in an interview with Moise News that the legal and financial committees are looking for a legal loophole to legislate the budget, because it is in line with the affairs of the state and citizens. He added, the caretaker government is not entitled to send the budget, but we are looking for a loophole to pass. And the Finance Committee talked about a financial deficit in the budget for the current year, amounting to about 48 trillion dinars, with the continued failure of political blocs to form a new government. The Parliamentary Finance Committee affirmed that there is no legal way out to proceed with the approval of the 2020 budget without the presence of a new government, explaining that its approval depends on the government. The committee's reporter, Ahmed Al-Safara, said, The Parliamentary Finance Committee sent a letter to the General Secretariat of the Council of Ministers and the Budget Authority in the Ministry of Finance, to warn in it that the Council will go to the legislative holiday noting that all parliamentary movements regarding the passage of the budget are illegal. Al Safar added, the financial management law clarifies that the laws must be sent from a government by originality, not the conduct of daily business. He pointed out that, according to the law in force, the state will work with a budget one-twelfth of the previous budget, and includes operational spending only from the daily salaries, wages and salaries except for the investment budget. The political blocs have been unable since last November to find a successor to Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, who resigned due to the ongoing popular protests since the beginning of last October. Next article of interest. Revealing his rejection of the position in 2010. A candidate for Prime Minister. This is a condition for acceptance now. Today, Tuesday, Prime Minister Mohammed Tafiq Alawi disclosed his condition for accepting the position, noting that he had rejected him in 2010. The law we said in a tweet on his Twitter account, unfortunately, the enemies of the homeland still make false accusations that question our authentic national and Iraqi principles and raise false slogans for unknown reasons. He added, 
Whoever knows Muhammad Allah we knows that he is a person has not and will not compromise his principles and values for a fleeting position. He continued, I was offered the position of Prime Minister in 2010 by the majority of members of Parliament. I refused, not a failure to assume responsibility but asceticism in it, but now I am still ascetic in the position and I will not assume it unless I have a primary role in saving the country from destruction and collapse. God forbid. Next article of interest. Rapid developments in the issue of the next government candidate. Today and yesterday night, there were rapid developments in the issue of the candidate of the next prime minister, as the chances of some people started to fade and some of them weaken a lot, and in turn the emergence of other candidates. A political source in a press statement is likely to settle the President of the Republic Baram Saleh assigned to a candidate as Prime Minister early next week, stressing that, Saleh resumed yesterday the day upon his return from traveling outside the country talks and held intensive contacts will continue until the resolution of the file. It is due to meet President of the Republic on Tuesday with representatives of the protesters to discuss the file candidate next head of government and the conditions that must be available in it. The source pointed out that, the list of candidates undergone changes as some of the names put forward faded fortunes while other names are greatly weakened, and in meanwhile, new names have emerged as a candidate and the side adopted them certain alliances. He added that, the movement in this regard ascending and was scheduled to be settled on Thursday, but the weights suggest that the discount will be early next week. Faced with the pressure of the Iraqi street, the political parties are still unable to reach a solution to the crisis of choosing an alternative for the resigned Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, after failing to assign several candidates after a large popular ejection of him. The popular demonstrations and sit-ins continue in Tahrir Square in Baghdad and other governorates, with the number of martyrs rising to more than 600 demonstrators and wounding thousands of others. Next article of interest. Kurdish MP the President of the Republic may reject all candidates for Prime Minister. The representative of the new generation, Sarkat Shems al-Din, confirmed on Tuesday that the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, is not convinced by a number of candidates for the presidency of the government, and it is likely that all candidates will be rejected and the door of dialogue will be opened again. Shems al-Din said in a statement to information that the President of the Republic Baram Sali will delay the formation of the next government because of the differences between the political parties on the personality of the Prime Minister. He added, Saleh is not convinced by several nominated personalities, and all candidates may refuse to initiate serious negotiations to resolve the file and accept a satisfactory figure for all parties, including the demonstrators. Shams al-Din said that, the preconditions for the candidates for prime minister and the request for specific positions by political blocs complicate the crisis and increase the difficulty of Saleh in assigning the next prime minister. Next article of interest. Kurdish leader, Barzani to meet Trump in Washington next week. This is what he will discuss. A member of the Kurdistan Democratic Party, Rep. Salam, confirmed today, Tuesday, that the president of the Kurdistan region, Nekirvan Barzani, will visit the United States next week, at the invitation he received from the American administration. Salam told, Baghdad today, Barzani will meet with U.S. President Donald Trump next week, to discuss a number of developments regarding the developments in the situation in Iraq as well as developments in the region and ongoing conflicts, after an invitation he received from the American administration. He added, at the same time, Barzani received an invitation from Tehran to visit her and meet with a number of officials there to discuss important files related also to developments in the situation in Iran's relationship with the region and other files. He pointed out that, these visits, with the approximate timing, indicate the wisdom of the region in sparing its people and land, the ongoing conflicts, and standing neutral. And the Kurdish leader demanded that, this is the position of the Iraqi government as well, because the occurrence of any war between the two parties will mean that Iraq will be an arena for it, so it is necessary to work on the country responding to this conflict. 
in his last meeting with U.S. President Donald Trump on the sidelines of the Davos Conference, the president of the Kurdistan region, Nekhervan Barzani, stressed the importance of continuing the tasks of the international coalition, while he saw that terrorism still constitutes a real threat to the region. A statement issued by the Kurdistan region presidency stated that Trump described during the meeting the people of Kurdistan as the great people. Trump said, we owe it to you. He also expressed America's thanks and appreciation for the role of the Kurdistan region and the Peshmerga in defeating ISIS and protecting the religious and national components in Kurdistan. The statement continued, at the meeting, the president of the Kurdistan region, on behalf of the people of Kurdistan, reiterated thanks and appreciation to President Trump and America for their support to the Kurdistan region during the war against ISIS. Next article of interest. BIS survey indicates positive outlook on developing economies issuing cryptos. A new report from the Bank for International Settlements, BIS, published on January 23 is pointing out a positive outlook on the issuance of digital currencies in developing economies. CBDC survey result. The new report is based on a follow-up survey on the issuance of a central bank digital currency, CBDC. BIS talked to 66 banks in the 2019 study to discuss the possibility of a central bank-backed currency in their economies. Last time, 56 central banks participated in the survey. It suggests that central banks are interested in digital currencies and are experimenting with new innovations in this field. BIS broke down the results of the survey into emerging and advanced economies. It suggests that emerging market economies, EMS, are poised to move from the research phase to the public development phase. It states that the developing economies are driven by stronger motivations than those of advanced economy central banks. Central banks representing a fifth of the world's population say they are likely to issue the first books in the next few years. What else does the report suggest? According to the report, Larger economies like the U.S. or European Union countries are moving ahead in understanding the implications of digital money. It suggests that the developing economies are moving at a faster-than-expected pace when it comes to the development of digital money. Some of these economies have made intensive advancements but cryptocurrencies are still a niche payment sector. The BIS is owned by 60 of the world's largest central banks that control over 95% of the world's total GDP. The organization promotes financial cooperation amongst the central banks of the world. Overall, the survey shows a clear tendency amongst developing economies to support their banknotes with digital currency. However, no central bank suggests any significant development that would push digital currencies towards widespread public use. They are not being used for any domestic or international payments as of now. About 60% of the central banks suggest that they are thinking about the monetary impact of stable coins. Most TME central banks are planning to use digital currencies to reduce their dependence on cash. Advanced economies are trying to remove any issues that may prevent users from accessing central bank currency. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. This package will only be available for a limited time, so go for it, pick up yours today. With the currency exchange planner on your team, the banks don't have a chance of taking advantage of your newfound wealth. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, 
it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always turn gold into any kind of fiat money you want or need later. The gold will always be in your possession not the banks who do not care about your well-being. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad, the dollar will not. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, over and out, the Denarian.